Ni hao ma, and greetings from the dank basement. This is your wicked Uncle Squiddy, Paul Shellbetter. There are times when a snuff taker does not want tobacco, does not want nicotine, but still wants to have a snuff. Um, if that is the case for you, you're limited to one of two basic choices. The first choice, and you see a lot of these from the German manufacturers and Belgian manufacturers and so on, are the Traubensucher, or grape sugar-based sniffing powders. This would include uh, Herschel's Schneeberg Weiss, um, Bernard's Eisenweiss, uh, there's a couple of others. And also the sugar-based snuffs include the energy snuffs like Wilson's Ice Lemon or Sunset Orange or Rocket Fuel Cherry. All of those are sort of based on grape sugar. They have scents and usually quite a lot of menthol added. Some of them have caffeine, some of them have guarana, and they don't have tobacco. Your other option for a non-tobacco snuff is going to be an herbal. And sadly, some of the herbals are pretty tough. Um, the Thai herbal snuff is really an acquired taste. It's good once you get used to it and figure out the right size bumps to take, and I'm talking about the yellow and the purple, the red of the tie actually does have tobacco in it, so I'm not including that in this group. Uh, the Dalakia Herbal. I tried it once. I need to go back to it. Didn't like it on my first shot, but I might like it on the second try. It wasn't bad. Fairly complex, and I think I need to give that one a second chance. The two potpourri snuffs from Molens de Kralinks, one of them smells like you're snorting Italian seasoning, and the other one smells like you're snorting, um, well, potpourri, like you'd put in a hot pot or something to scent your home. Neither one is pleasant. I don't like them. I do like De Crawling's Mentholin, which is a non-tobacco, again, probably that grape sugar-based uh, sniffing powder uh, with menthol and coffee flavors in it. That's very, very good. But a good herbal... It's kind of hard to find. I think I found one. This is Zijang Herbal Snuff. Look at the cool bottle, man. This is a, uh, whoops, there you go. This glass bottle is supposed to be a replica of the hand-painted Chinese snuff bottles that were all over uh, during the late 18th and early, I'm sorry, the late 19th and early 20th centuries. You can still even find good examples authentic examples of them, they're going to be expensive. Uh, and it has a plastic stopper, which actually has kept this snuff very, very fresh for almost six months, with a cool little, almost useless because the bowl is so small, a snuff spoon attached to the stopper. Uh, I bought this for the bottle. I really didn't know what to expect. I didn't have very high expectations of the snuff, but boy was I nicely surprised. Uh, I wrote a review on this on snuffhouse.org under the name Squiddy, and I said that it reminded me of a dusty attic and flowers and my grandmother's perfumes and stuff like that. Uh, some of that is true, but I'm now getting this really great masculine, leathery smell. There's a little patchouli in there, but just a hint. Uh, I think there's some ginseng in there. Uh, this is really amazing. Uh, it gives me a nice lift without having nicotine in it. I can actually feel some physiological, psychological effects from this. Uh, mild euphoria, giving me a little energy, making me smile. Wow, this is a really, really nice surprise. I bought it for the bottle to collect. I'm glad I did for the sake of the snuff. On the squinty scale, where one is horse shit and five is fantastic, I'm going to rate this one, considering there are so few really good herbals out there. Uh, this one is killer. This is a five. So if you're looking to try an herbal snuff uh, and get a cool bottle in the deal, I suppose this would be at the Zijang Herbal Snuff from Mr. Snuff. Now, here are the warnings about this. This is the third time I've tried to cut this review, and I keep rambling, which I do. Uh, it really makes your nose juice. Hang on a second. So, if you're looking for something to clean out your nose, and you don't want that menthol, because this has no menthol in it that I can detect at all. This is strictly herbal. 
uh, maybe some mint, as I said, you know, patchouli is a member of the mint family. Uh, but there's no menthol, per se, in here that I can tell. And it's opening up my nose like crazy. So this might be a good alternative to a mentholated, medicated snuff. Just a thought. Yeah, I like this very much, and I'm glad you watched this video so that we could try it out together. Please do press the like button if you like this. Uh, please do comment if you've got a question or a comment. Uh, like me on Facebook. Add me to your channel. Add me to your playlists, and uh, I appreciate it. Let's spread the word about how much fun reducing harm through taking nasal snuff can be. Great varieties of flavors, great varieties of sensations are available to you. It's inexpensive, and I'm willing to bet my left lung that it's a hell of a lot safer than smoking. From the dank basement, putting on the cans one more time. This is Uncle Squinty. Thanks.